This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds under mixed martial arts rules. Introducing first, making his way down the Hulk Attic's runway and fighting out of the Brandon Dodge red corner. Making his way to the cage, please welcome Alvin Abbots. We have Alvin, the Viking of God, Abbots, fighting out of Fusion XL and Unified Martial Arts, honoring U.S. Army veteran Roger Hankins and Mark Flattery. There's the Viking. There we go. That, that nickname is quite something, the Viking <laughs> of God. Now listen, JR watched a lot of film on him, and the one thing he does, he's got a great front kick, he's got a great turning side kick, sometimes he's off balance. <laughs> he kind of gets into it, doesn't he? Little dance action. All kinds of flags he's representing. Dancing with the stars. I mean, that, that is a big, large, in shape man. I would say Viking is a very apt nickname. Yeah. Very powerful, as you might expect. You know, sometimes you get into the heavyweight division, some of the guys you see carrying a little extra. Neither one of these guys no, are that way. Not these guys. I'm trying to read his tad, but I can't. <laughs> First word's pride. It's not like I'm playing Pictionary. <laughs> And his opponent fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen of Lakewood Blue Corner. Please welcome Josh Bradel. Everybody, Josh, the Yeti Bradel, fighting out of Genesis and 303 Training Center, honoring once again U.S. Marine Corps veteran Richard Ramos. The Yeti. The oh Yeti. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't don't think there's anybody that expects this to go three three minute rounds. No, do you want to talk big men that are in great shape? Uh, these two will be it, and we, this is a mountain of a man. Now we got the Yeti coming. Yeah, up. there's the Yeti. He's taking his time, too. Sometimes Yetis are hard to spot. Little camera entourage. <laughs> and there's the uh, Bellator, world's ninth ranked light heavyweight. Brant Neal will be in the Yeti's corner. Former Sparta fighter himself, as we mentioned earlier. Absolutely. Oh, he joined us for some broadcast work. Both debuts here. Abbots have seen kickboxing. Yeah, MMA debuts. So. Yes. 31-year-old uh, Bradel, six feet seven inches tall. Of course, he is a heavyweight, making his debut, as you mentioned versus the just slightly younger Abbots, who is 28 years old, also 6'7". Probably not often that either one of these guys see somebody their own size, Yeah, uh, you know, in the gym. <clears throat> so, a couple of debut fighters, but you guys both mentioned the uh, amazing athleticism of both these fighters, and to have that kind of movement and coordination and speed and explosiveness in a package that big is really something rare. So I think we're in for a treat. Well, and for me too, you take a look at it and what crossover stars have there been that have been both at the WWE and at the I Brock Lesnar. Not lots, yep. Jake Ramos, Coach Jake, with the fellas call him. <laughs> Into the cage goes the Yeti. 
Oh, these two are gonna go after it, <laughs> big boys. Ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight MMA bout is brought to you by Sparta Auto 360. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the Brandon Dodge red corner. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 264.4 pounds. He is fighting in honor of US Army Ro Roger Hankins and Mark Flaherty, and he fights out of Orlando, Florida, introducing US Army veteran, Alvin, the Viking of God, Abbott. And his opponent fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Volkswagen of Lakewood Blue Corner. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 255.4 pounds. He is fighting in honor of USMC veteran Richard Ramos, and he fights out of Thornton, Colorado, introducing Josh the Yeti Bradel. You know, they're both as tall as Big Bone, too. I was just going to reference that. <laughs> You've been giving your instructions. Keep it clean. Protect yourselves at all times and obey my commands. If you want to touch gloves, touch now. Go back to your corners and let's do this. Man, I, I tell you, you look at right on the weight limit. Yeah. Yeah, when you, when you cut to make the heavyweight limit, <laughs> the Brock Lesnar reference was very apt. All right, let's get this action going. Big boys. Big shots immediately for Aberts. Bradle, I think, needed to have a big shot come his way. He looks a little nervous to me. Nice inside leg kick. You're fine. You're fine. Oh, oh Superman punch. Aberts with the Superman punch that momentarily puts his opponent down and jumps into guillotine. Yeah, guillotine right away. You can't hold on to the cage. You got to get let go of that. And I think oh, he's no. out. He's out. Oh, he is out. Wow. Oh my goodness, and just that fast. Congratulations, Alvin Abbott. Wow. And that's gonna be a fine for jumping on top of the cage there. Abbott's just earned himself a little suspension here in Colorado, I'm sorry to say. But uh, wow, opened it up with the Superman punch. Jumped guard to get the standing guillotine. Closed it off till his opponent went unconscious, yep. and my gracious. Yeah, the Viking uh, really took care of business. He was calm, cool, collected. The Superman punch really did the damage. Yeah, that was a hard shot, and it might have been one of those even where his opponent was out on the way to the ground and hitting the ground, woke him up, but immediately gathering head control, really nice technical work there by Abbott's to know exactly what technique was appropriate and able to close it off by way of jumping guard. My gracious. Yeah, I'll Look tell you forward what. forward to seeing more of both these guys. Yep, not. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Joel Ojeda calls a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of the first round, declaring your winner by submission via a guillotine choke, Alvin, the Viking of God, Abbott. Abbott's with a little techno Viking dance there. <laughs> oh, gracious. All right. Well, I, we'll I thought he looked up. a little nervous. <laughs> you know, and, and, no, I'm talking about Josh Bradel. I, yeah. I thought he looked a little nervous coming into this fight. We'll take it up to Miranda. she get the post-fight interview with Abbott's. Hey, you did a great job in your performance. I think showed athleticism, came in there right away, putting fuel on the fire, jumped in. I don't think anybody expected a jumping guillotine from you. I got one motherfucking question. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> who expected two motherfucking monsters to get into the cage tonight? And who expected a 295 pound man to do a jumping guillotine? What else you got for me? <laughs> do you have anybody you want next? When are you expecting to get back in here? I get back in on next Saturday if I want to. Come on, I got everybody who wants to smoke. No cap. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> do you have anybody else to thank or anything like that, or are you good to go? Which, well, sorry, what'd you say? Do you have anybody else you want to thank or say, or are you ready to go? I got some people I'd love to thank. First off, I'd like to thank God, first and foremost. Next, I'd like to thank Fusion XL Performance. 
Julian Williams, Adolfo Vieira, Phil Rowe, Alex Nicholson, Matt Ferriello, Bruno, all these people that make me better every day. Every time I come in the gym, I say, oh, coach, my back hurts. He said, well, now your hands are going to be hurt. You got 100 rounds on the bags. So, you know, we're just going to keep going on. i like to thank all the people that came out of the state, out of whatever state they're from, to come support me. It means the world to me. This is just the beginning of a nine-year layoff. Mark my motherfucking words. You will see me under the spotlights beating this shit out of every heavyweight there is. Good job. Congratulations. He's a little intense. Well, there's that. There's, there's <laughs> that he's got going for him. Definitely a showman. Yeah, nice. yeah and the thing about it is, you, you look at his like size, it. JR, yeah. there may be another level for him. Absolutely.